Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. You all know that there is a Fibonacci system inside the sunflower, and the, you also know that the sunflower faces towards the sun. But today I'm going to tell you why these two things happen. So let's get started. I was studying about the Fibonacci number sequence and also about the life cycle of uh, flowers. And then I decided to come to a sunflower farm and study about these sunflowers. The Fibonacci number sequence is basically that you have to add the first, have to add the previous two numbers and get the third number. For example, one plus one is two. Two plus one is three. Three plus two is five. Five plus three is eight. And just like that, it goes infinity. And that is the Fibonacci se number sequence. That is also inside the petals of the flower and inside the place where the bees get the pollination. And I'm now I'm going to tell you the name, the scientific name. The scientific name of a sunflower is Helianthus in Bangla. We call it Shurjomukhi because it faces toward the sun. Shurjomukhi. And, the, and as you can see, that inside of here, of the stem, is the oxen, which helps the sunflower bend or tilt towards the way that the sun is in. So as you can see, all the suns are facing, all the sunflowers are facing. Uh, facing towards the east and the, because that side is where the sunflowers are facing and in the night time actually all the sunflowers not just some but all the sunflowers face towards the east even though the sun is not facing that way because they are waiting for the sun to rise from the horizon in the next morning so that they can face and absorb the sun through the pollination through the center of the uh, sunflower so this is the life cycle of the sunflower so these are the Fibonacci system and the life cycle assalamu alaikum